that wasn't a DVD movie. This is a scratch game. Hey folks, it's me, Bungerdev. Yeah, it's been a little while since I last posted. Okay, maybe not a little while, but I've been working on something actually crazy. It started when I ordered a pack of DVDs and an old USB disk drive off Amazon just to see if I could. Then came phase two. I begged Garbo Muffin, the creator of Turbo Warp, in his own Discord server to give me a version that could run Node.js. If you don't know, Node basically lets Scratch access stuff outside of the browser. Like your file system, your hardware, even external programs. So I built a custom extension. Just a base for the games so they could be read from real disks. Boot up instantly and launch straight into the full Scratch game. No download or install required. This is actual disk-based media for Scratch. Like, be honest, haven't you ever wanted to sell your Scratch project on shelves? Maybe play on an actual console? Maybe even something with its own eShop controllers and physical media? Well, I may have been working on that too. Let's get into the details. The secret is a Node.js powered extension I wrote. It lets Scratch reach outside the browser to check the disk drive, pull the game files in, and launch them directly. Everything's loaded in real time, with no zip files, no drag and drop. You just click the disk and you're in the game. You can play full Scratch games this way straight from physical media, and the wildest part is, it feels like an actual console. I even burned multiple games to different disks to just <laughs> take them out and then pop other ones in and play them. It feels really cool. Under the hood, it uses a base loader, a little script that listens for changes and parses into game files. Once it detects a supported project, it boots right into it, no menus or fluff involved. And listen, if you're a developer, I'm sure you wanted to see a game you made on shelves at one point, like I said earlier. It's just a really cool feeling to make something and have it out there, and I want to be able to offer that for other people one day. So that's what I'm trying to make happen. There's more coming, and this is a much bigger piece of a puzzle I'm working on behind the scenes. But that's a story for a video coming up soon. Well, that's what I've worked on, that's why I've been gone, and that's why this video took forever to come out. Be sure to check the description to join our Discord server. It has a lot of insight into our next possible project that I've been working on. Please subscribe to this channel. Please watch this video.